How's it going guys? Welcome to the 8th Arduino tutorial and as you have probably already guessed today we're going to discuss the tone library for the Arduino and how to actually output some sound into our project. For those of you who are looking to um, add a little uh, voice notification or play some kind of a melody uh, so the, this is a piezo speaker as you can see so I'm going to show you how to hook it up um, how you can use the tone library, what kind of outputs you can get on this uh, so without any further delay let's get started alright so as you can see I've created a fairly basic circuit you got our piezo speaker notice the plus on the top of the um, lid so make sure that goes to your positive lead you got your um, negative end coming out through a 180 ohm resistor and then this is going to the ground the positive end I currently have it on pin 11 set up you can go to any digital pin uh, and as you can see with the tone library it's fairly simple to change pins if you're looking to use something more powerful than this um, as an example a just a regular sized speaker you're gonna have to use a drive circuit and if you're interested in how that works please check out the extended version of this tutorial I'll fully explain how to hook up a uh, full speaker because you're gonna have to use a transistor in that case but for this guy the only thing you need is a resistor and a couple of wires um, so let's take a look at the programming side alright so as you can see I'm using the tone function of the Arduino library tone and uh, let's quickly go through the description and see what this function actually does so as you can see it generates a square wave of the specified frequency at 50% duty cycle on a pin uh, you can specify a direction, a duration, otherwise it will continue until you call the no tone function. Uh, the pin can be connected to a piezo buzzer or other speaker to play tones. In my current setup I'm using a exactly that. So you can only play a single tone. If there is a tone already playing on a different pin, you will have to uh, basically interrupt that tone uh, before playing something else otherwise the call will be just simply ignored so the use of the tone function will interfere with the PWM outputs on pins 3 and 11 on the boards other than mega which means that you cannot be playing a tone and outputting PWM signals on those pins it is not possible to generate tones lower than 31 Hertz so this is just a hardware limitation for the Arduino and if you want to play different pitches on multiple pins you will need to call no tone on the pin before calling the next tone to play so this goes back st this goes back to the single tone uh, per, per Arduino plane so you can either call it pin frequency in this case it's gonna go on until you uh, output the no tone function or you can specify a duration in a milliseconds as you can see down here uh, the frequency is specified in Hertz and obviously the pin is uh, your Arduino pin and you can also see different tutorials that the Arduino website already has set up for you so let's take a look at this um, basically this program so you have your void and uh, void setup and void loop functions and we can jump right ahead and specify a tone fu function so pin 11 4000 Hertz and let's do it for one second I'm gonna leave a quick comment so this is 4000 Hertz for one second so let's verify our very simple sketch and upload it to the Arduino so you you should be able to hear the very small tune I've just uploaded I'm not going to actually show it to you so if I reset the Arduino you can hear it again so one second 400 Hertz tune so if we want to make this a little bit more fun, let's create a uh, for function which is basically going to um, cycle through different tones so I'm getting this problem again I had fixed it before with the cursor so I apologize for that so uh, it goes from 31 to 10,000 Hertz and then we have an I++ plus plus that's your for function so in this case we're going to play tone I'm going to put an i in there and I'm going to introduce a delay of 10 milliseconds so what this should do is 
it will cycle through um, it will cycle through different frequencies of tones and you're gonna hear it in just a second and uh, basically it's going to loop this um, until it's done so let's take a look at the sound produced by this function so hopefully you can hear this pretty well so it goes through um, very low f uh, very high frequency sorry to um, from very low frequency to a very high pitched frequency so 31 hertz all the way to 10,000 hertz as you can see it becomes a uh, very high pitched and obviously you can do any frequency in between um, let me just take this off for a second because it's quite annoying um, let's take a look at some of the other examples that other people have made alright so this is a Mario sketch uh, created by a different user other than myself I've actually um, I was actually very impressed uh, to showcase something like this someone who actually took the time and to create a very short but very interesting iconic uh, Mario tune so as you can see the person has included the tone.h library created a tone uh, set up a um, begin on pin 11 and then looped all your tones along with the frequencies and their lengths to that pin so the result is actually quite spectacular so I'm going to upload this to the Arduino and we're going to take a look at what this actually um, creates for us. Alright, so I have uploaded the Mario sketch to the Arduino and you're about to hear one of the most iconic uh, video game tunes. Uh, so I'm sure most of you know it. Um, here it goes. So one thing to notice is that this tune is actually going at a much quicker rate. Um, I believe you can change all the um, times that you have in your code uh, to match the actual pitch of the original song and I think it's just because this was written for a previous version of the Arduino so for whatever reason uh, you're getting the sped up version on the Piazza speaker. In any case, uh, if you're interested in creating your own tunes, if you're interested in adding some kind of a voice notification to your Arduino, um, you can definitely do so with the piezo buzzer or the speaker and as well as the tone library. So if you have any questions with regards to the tones, what kind of outputs you can get out of this, or if you just want to share something you've done, uh, feel free to do so in the comments. Thank you guys. Bye.